Hi, I'm Bridget Kanakovsky, and this is my PowerPoint presentation on NASA's Voyager mission. The mission objectives include conducting close-up studies of Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn's rings, and the moons of the two planets. The interstellar mission was to extend NASA's exploration of the solar system beyond the outer planets, designed to take advantage of the rare geometric arrangement of the outer planets that occur every 175 years. The two-planet mission required the spacecrafts to last five years. As the mission went on and proved successful, scientists couldn't resist and explored further. Flying by two additional planets that I will mention later, the two-planet mission became four, and the lifetime of five years turned into a near 43. Some important dates. I will be going back and forth between Voyager 2 and Voyager 1. Voyager 2 launched first on August 20, 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Voyager 1 launched second, but it was a quicker launch on September 5, 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter on March 5, 1979. Voyager 2 reached Jupiter on July 9, 1979. Voyager 1 reached Saturn on November 12, 1980. Voyager 2 reached Saturn on August 25, 1981. Voyager 2 reached Uranus on January 24, 1986. It actually encountered Uranus because of the two spacecrafts. It was the one most likely to reach it with all the instruments still operating. Voyager 2 didn't really reach Neptune, but the date, August 25, 1989, is the point where it was closest. Some of the instruments on the spacecraft include the bus housing electronics that included various engineering subsystems and instruments in each of the 10 sides. The cosmic ray subsystem looked for very energetic particles in plasma and provided info on the energy. The high gain antenna transmitted data to Earth on two frequency channels. The imaging science subsystem included two television type cameras. One was low resolution and one was a higher resolution. They both observed, mapped, and imaged the planetary atmosphere. The infrared inframometer, spectrometer, and radiometer include a thermometer to determine the distribution of heat energy a body is emitting, a spectrometer to determine the types of elements and compounds in the atmosphere, and a radiometer to measure the amount of sunlight reflected. The low energy charged particle had the broadest energy range of the three sets of particle sensors on these spacecrafts. The magnetometer measured the changes in the sun's magnetic field with distance and time. The optical calibration target was fixed to the spacecraft so the instruments on the movable scan platform could point to a predictable target. The photoplatometer subsystem was a telescope fitted with filters and polarization analyzers. The planetary radio astronomy and plasma wave subsystem shared two long antennas. The planetary radio astronomy covered two frequencies, while the plasma wave subsystem only covered one. The plasma science measures the low energy ions and electrons that compromise the bulk of the plasma, and the radiosotope thermoelectric generators were the central power sources of the mission module, and the ultraviolet spectrometer determined when certain atoms or ions are present. Some important discoveries on Jupiter include that the atmosphere consists of interacting hurricane-like storm systems, there are erupting volcanoes on its moon named Lo which that moon has 100 times the volcanic activity on Earth, one of the most geologically active planetary bodies in the solar system. They also discovered an indication of an ocean under the cracked crust of its moon, Europa. They also discovered the low Taurus, which is a thick ring of ionized sulfur and oxygen shed by the moon low that inflates Jupiter's magnetic field. They also discovered a thin ring circling the planet and a two new moons, Thebe and Metis. On Saturn, they discovered a deep and smoggy atmosphere that hid the surface of his moon Titan, which most likely has clouds and rain of methane. They discovered detailed wave structure of thousands of icy rings from the pole of nearby moons. They discovered five new moons compromised largely of water ice. On Neptune, they discovered a great dark spot, 1,000 mile per hour winds, and six new moons. On Uranus, they discovered 10 new moons in a boiling ocean of water. Where are the spacecraft now? Both of them are in interstellar space and continue their journey. Voyager 1 is approximately 149 astronomical units away from Earth. Voyager 2 is approximately 124 astronomical units away from Earth. Those change over time to get a little bit farther. As of February 15th, 2020, those are the distances. The fate of the Voyager mission. 
The Voyager interstellar mission is the current and future mission of the spacecraft, and the objectives include obtaining interplanetary and interstellar fields, particles, and waves science data until 2020 and even beyond. And this is my work cited. Thank you so much.